<laughs> what are we making? We're gonna make bourbon cherries. With what kind of bourbon? <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> right here. Yes. Really, you can use whatever you want. And where I do just, these cherries come from? They came from my father-in-law because I have friends in high places. Oh, really high places. <laughs> Very high places. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. My pack to pit a cherry. Get a beer bottle. And so you'll put your cherry there. Take a little stick. And push it down. Oh, I already did mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happened easy. So it's... All right, it's easier than how, I mean, okay, fine. It's harder than how Instagram showed it. It's not that difficult though. You just kind of have to move around and, you know, feel where the pit. There it goes. Yeah, let's see. The sound is so rewarding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're pitting cherries because we are making bourbon cherries. And what are bourbon cherries for? <laughs> for old fashioned yes. and any kind of drink <laughs> you want to garnish it. And then also the juice that we're gonna make, the mm -hmm. bourbon and sugar juice, you could use that to make any other kind of cocktail as well. So use that kind of like oh, for a flavoring. Drink. Yeah, for mm -hmm. flavoring. A real cherry flavoring, not the artificial flavor that <laughs> is in most cough or <laughs> <laughs> pharmaceutical products. <laughs> okay, so let's t let's talk about um, a little bit about ourselves. Um, you want to introduce yourself? Fine. <laughs> So I'm Luba. Uh, my interests are gardening and all things pharmacy. I'm in pharmacy school, and so that's part of my life. Right now I'm on break, so I'm exploring the other side, my left brain, mm -hmm. is what I call it. So what is your Instagram handle? My name? Yeah. Is Luba Villanueva. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative. <laughs> it's just Luba underscore Villanueva. That's me. <laughs> we'll link it below or in the video. <laughs> That's me. So my name is Susan. My Instagram handle is Susan. It's, I forgot now. Susan the foodist. Susan, Susan. <laughs> I know who you are. The foodist. Um, I am in nursing school. Yay. And I love everything related to food. You know, I always wonder, no, like why we need to eat certain foods, how it affects our bodies, and why certain foods affect our bodies differently. Meaning, like, if we eat whole foods, foods are, um, like, raw, you know, like, fresh off the tree, off the vine, out of the garden, like we used to do back mm -hmm. in the day, and we didn't have all the issues that we do now, like, oh, yeah. you know, like, diabetes, and all these different cancers, and hypertension, and hyperlipidemia, and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like. Mm -hmm. And then, and in addition to the things that we actually feed the livestock that we eat. Right. So, so I was watching a YouTube video. Of, um, so it's, he was, mm -hmm. he's a homesteader. And so he was saying how chickens should be fed meat. Really? Because they're, and then I took zoology and my teacher confirmed that chickens evolved. Do well, they are first dinosaurs, which carnivores. Oh, so, what? I didn't know that. And then that joke about what came first, the chicken or the egg, uh -huh. um, it stems from, well, the chicken, because he evolved from dinosaurs. Oh. And I'm like, you're that pulling my leg right now, <laughs> zoology professor. That's so, interesting. Yeah. Because I know, like, when you have chickens, like, chickens like I have friends and family that have chickens just you know just to have chickens yeah. and they run around eating all kinds of insects and yeah I don't feed and, my meat yeah and like worms and like or bugs and stuff like that but people feel like you're supposed to just feed them only grain right isn't that see that's that's still what I, I feed them like the chicken food you know that I get from the store you know is it grains it's like pellets almost I oh. think it's grain you know like I don't know and so we kind of do things kind of backwards because okay, I think about it. We're feeding chickens, which should be eating My like protein. Destroyed it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that should be eating meat or, you know, like protein. In terms, I'm, I'm referring to like insects and bugs and this and that. But then we go and feed cows, which should be eating a vegetarian diet because yeah. they graze. And we feed them animal products. That's so weird. It's so backwards. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Well, I don't eat red meat anyway. <laughs> I'm scared of prions. 
Oh my god. Anybody that knows me knows I don't eat anything that can become a prion. That could have a prion. <laughs> okay, so when I was taking my zoology class, my professor said, oh, I'm gonna make sure, like, I, um, around the lines of by the end of this class, you are not gonna wanna eat sushi or like raw meat right. anymore. And I'm like, I'm not gonna convert. <laughs> I'm not gonna convert. You're not I gonna want do sushi. It. <laughs> Sushi. No, but on the back of my mind, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> all the little uh, nematodes are. I'm like, I still know, I still know. You know, my friends make fun of me because I listen to podcasts while, <laughs> while I'm driving, traveling. Instead of listening to music, I listen to podcasts. And the one that I'm really into right now, a plug. And I don't know them. They're not paying me or <laughs> like I wish they were. I know, I wish they did. <laughs> it's called the podcast will kill you. It's two girl, two women. I think one's in med school and one's in graduate school. One's gonna be like an epidemiologist or or something, and the other ones like I don't remember. But they talk about all things um, related to infectious diseases. And then now they're going into like, um, they teamed up, they collaborate, collaborated with a, uh, what do you call a botanist, right? The, the, the plant, plant person? Yeah, plant person. And they're, they just had, <laughs> I'm just talking. <laughs> <laughs> they just um, had an episode about where sal salicylates, 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 like acetamin, um, aspirin? aspirin, yeah, where the, what plant is derived from, so it's pretty cool, oh. you know. Oh, I didn't know it's derived from a plant. Mm -hmm. Or oh, something like cool. that. That's what it said on the little thing that I read. Nice. Okay, just want to share the podcast I listen to. I listen to financial Are you a, podcast. Are you a podcaster too? Heck yeah! Wow. I don't okay. listen to music anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, maybe I should listen to music so I at least know what's happening right, right now. Right. <laughs> what's going on in society? Because you can tell by the music. I'm like, oh, maybe I should listen. Um, but I like listen it's to kind of messy. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of messy. Mm -hmm. Cool. Emma would like this. So which one? Financial. So financial stuff. So right now I'm actually all about um, <laughs> another plug. So Christy Wright Business Boutique. It's all about women's business. So her thing is helping women, I'm trying to remember her slogan, helping women do this, make money at doing the things they love. So I'm probably butchering oh, I it. I love that. But it's so great and it talks about anything like, anything you really need to know for business, but it's just targeted at women because they, because we have special challenges that we need to right. <laughs> come get over. And so, yeah. And then she has conferences too. Oh, well, I might I'm have to um, listen yeah, to her. Yeah. Do you mind you handing my it. wine glass? The full one or the empty one? The full one. That one's mine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I think yours is empty. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you know, you always have to sit. Where's the wine? I'll pour you some. This looks brutal. Mm -hmm. We're a little thirsty. <laughs> Don't mind this. I think I have a bunch to fill. What about you? I think I have a bunch too. Let me show you guys. See? All kinds of cherries. Pitted cherries. <laughs> and we didn't even need a pitter. <laughs> nope. So Luba has a really, really, really cute garden. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'll be editing and posting like just a short clip of a quick tour and then we'll do a more extensive one um, probably in a week or so. Let's do it. <clears throat> I'll make my garden super presentable for you guys. <laughs> You're going to be like, wow. How amazing is it though <clears throat> to be eating things that you actually grew yourself? I love gardening. Yeah. Sometimes we'd grow things that we don't even know how to cook. <laughs> we grew a kohlrabi once. <laughs> and we're like, I don't know what to do with this. Did you just saute, right? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked it up. I should have probably looked it up. 
I remember like when I was little, my parent, my mom and my aunt you would have a garden and I would have my own little patch. Aww, They'd give me like a barrel so and I'd grow really easy things like tomatoes and cucumber mm -hmm. and green, on <clears throat> green onions. Like that is so sweet. simple mm -hmm. things that just grow even if you don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I chose wisely. <laughs> No, they chose wisely. Oh, they chose wisely yeah. for you. <laughs> we don't want you to be disappointed. Yeah. They're like, oh, her interest, you know, is gonna, you know, go away once, once she's done. <laughs> right. She'll plan them in, forget it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I remember doing that to my parents. So whenever um, Emma has these interests, that I'm like, I know it's gonna be me. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, that's me. Like when we got a dog, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be us. Yeah. <laughs> like we were, she loved him while he was still new, uh -huh. you know. And then now it's like, and now it's like your dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's, it's good to let to let them like explore it mm -hmm. if, if it's not a huge like sacrifice. <laughs> like if they want like five dogs or something, it's awesome. So tell us more about your passion of gardening. Like, where did it come from? Oh, that's it's a good uh, story. Oh, look at this one. This is oh. not a black cherry. These are black cherries, right? Is that what they're called? Maybe. And these are Rainier, I think. Rainier cherries. Oh, I don't know that. Because <laughs> in Washington, there's a little bunch of cherries. Like, cherries grow all, like, all really? over. Really? I think. Okay, don't quote me. <laughs> but I think. Well, I've never been, so I don't know. <laughs> these are called Rainier cherries. So. Oh, maybe they're not. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna add one just for like contrast to oh my the mason jar. <laughs> presentation, presentation. Yeah, what is that yellow cherry in there? <laughs> it's odd. <laughs> that was Susan's work. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, so you asked about where my gardening thing came from. Okay. So, did I ever tell you this story? A little bit, yeah. But you can tell the viewers. Okay. So I just want to see your reaction too. <laughs> okay, so I didn't always like gardening. <laughs> and my husband, when we were dating, he at that time he he's always liked gardening. Mm -hmm. So I remember he told me once, or still dating, he says, <laughs> I like to garden. And I chuckled. <laughs> you what? I chuckled. <laughs> I was like, you're like, okay, this macho man who's in the military and all this and that. You like the garden? Okay. Because at the time, for me, gardening was, it's... I have my bowl, so I'm going to listen to this story. Okay. Um, it's what old people do. It's what my mom does. She gardens. So then when this guy, I like, this young guy, I like, says he gardens, I'm like... And a macho guy at, the, at that, right? Like, it's not like this guy that's, you He's know. Adorable. Oh my gosh. I like so, to garden. Yeah. And so I thought it was hilarious. And then, and so I always kind of, I don't want to say changed myself, but I was very open to changing my mind about mm -hmm. gardening because it's like something he likes to do. And I want to be able to do things with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm even though it doesn't interest me. Video games don't interest me, but I'll still do it, because you know, my boyfriend likes it, and it's, you know, I'll do it Do you play video games with your boyfriend? Or your husband? My husband out? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. he loves it. <laughs> and like, my avatar is like shooting up, he's like, and I'm like, I can't play. But he loves it, he loves it. And um, so when we got married, we had a couple plants, and I killed everything. <laughs> I mean, I just kept killing his plants for a very long time. Was he upset and took his and say always, no, Oh, he's told me. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to grab too. Oh, you guys are so silly. Okay, well, we'll take care of that later. Um, so, okay. So then, after a little while, I started to kind of... Like it a like, little bit. Mm -hmm. So I gave Susan a garden tour, and the way we did it was we had wine glasses, and we walked around, just looked at all my plants, and that's kind of how I started to like it because we'd walk over and we'd be like, "Oh yeah, we bought that when 
we just got married or oh yeah like there's the stories and I think the stories is what made me like it uh -huh. so a lot of the anything gardening I put up I, I like using the hashtag learning to love the garden because that's just like where I am is that your hashtag no I found it oh, and okay. I'm like I'm not the only one you should okay I'm not the only one who hated gardening first, you know? And yeah, there's a lot of times when he went to, on his deployment, that he would uh, video chat and then he's like, oh, show me this. And oh. it's like flopped over. <laughs> I <killed> him. <laughs> he's like, wait, wait. He's it's like, no. <laughs> My plan. So, yeah. That was thriving when I left. <laughs> talk and yeah. bond over these plants right oh yeah and then and really just starting that conversation like um, when I gave, gave Susan the tour we started at one corner of the yard and just worked our way around that's how we really do it and all kinds of huge variety and she knew everything <laughs> she told me what a suckling was I thought it was a pig <laughs> but it's not what is a suckling or we also call it a sucker. A sucker? I, yeah, we kind of. Given, what if I'm making things up too? <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. It's what you call it. So while I finish the story, I'm gonna open up the recipe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we'd walk around, and then at one point, we're just sitting at one of the benches, drinking our wine or our beer, and just talking. And that's just so precious and so it valuable. So, it's and like your thing, your guys' yeah, thing. Yeah, it's our thing now. And so like that's why she made me walk, not made me. She was like, <laughs> I brought over a bottle of wine. She's like, oh, we're gonna walk around the garden with a glass of wine because I miss it. And I'm yeah. like, oh, that's so sweet. That's so cute. Oh I think it's so sweet, and I, I love the story behind it. So we're gonna have, we're gonna do more collabs, right? Oh, we have to. Yeah. With all, we with, have. <laughs> with all of her, yes. her hard work, because I haven't yes. grown anything. Anything we, I grow, we will do something together. That's we got so something with apples coming right, up. Right. And can we do mulberries, please? Okay, we'll do mulberries. Okay. <laughs> I think so. I have a short clip of me showing you guys what a mulberry is. And it comes off of a mulberry tree. And she goes, they're so good. And I was like, are they edible? And she goes, yeah. I go, we're not. They're not gonna. I'm not gonna die. She's like, no. <laughs> and so I ate one, and they were sweet. So I was like, oh, they're sweet. So we're not gonna die. Because usually things in nature, if they're poisonous. Oh, I thought you were kidding. <laughs> no, like things in nature, like usually, like if they're toxic, they taste gross. Like they're very bitter or like sour, like huh. just like an off-putting taste because they don't. That's their defense mechanism. It's oh, true. Yeah defense mechani mechanism like against like birds and whatever that's gonna like you know pick at them so that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah yeah I like it. okay so we're gonna pause and get the other stuff ready All right, so we're gonna measure out our ingredients mm -hmm. what two, did I say two-thirds <laughs> two-thirds <laughs> <laughs> per um per oh. per recipe right yeah, yeah. For, for the serving yeah thing. So two third cups of sugar, and we're gonna put it in a pot and um, warm it up with the bourbon, right? Yeah, to to dissolve it, not boiling or anything, because you don't want to burn off the um, the alcohol, because the alcohol is what we like. Yeah, we want to mm -hmm. keep that. Mm -hmm. And so all of you culinary people out there, don't hate me. Don't. I'm using the wrong utensil here. <laughs> you don't no. measure with a liquid sugar with this with a liquid one, but it's cool. Do what it's, I say, not as I do. It's not exact. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, my husband would kill me. Really? He took, so he took a nutrition class, uh -huh. and so we'd cook together, and I'm just like, no, 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 no. He's like, no, no. Did you level it? Did you level? <laughs> I think with baking is very important to do that because like a little bit too much baking soda or baking powder. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can totally flatten our riser or you know, whatever. But in terms of this, it's okay. Let's do it. Yeah, leave an eyeball. What did I say? Three and a half? Three and a half cups. Okay. Here we go. I've never tried this before. Why don't you take a sip? <laughs> <laughs> I've had whiskey before. <laughs> 
Three and a half. Will I have enough? I don't know. Let's see. Just give me the whole bottle. <laughs> It's looking like it. Bottle, I don't know what the. Oh, there's a bigger version. A too. fluid ounce. Oh, it's 750 ml. ml. So ounces. No, cc. Cc, yeah. We're using that. All right, so now we're, I'm going to combine these into a pot and we will just barely simmer. Oh, yeah, you could even see yeah. that. We can do it. Not even, the idea is to get the sugar to dissolve. That's it. Ooh. Don't waste the bourbon. Don't waste the bourbon. Pour, pour this in? Yeah. It smells good though. Well, I like whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right now I have it on low. I figure that's all it needs. I want my alcohol. Okay. Let me put the cherries in. So we're gonna use mason jars. Should I put them in there? Oh yeah. So I did these yellow ones, golden ones. I thought the contrast would be pretty. <laughs> is it? It is. I can't look. see it. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, good. look. <laughs> Oh wait, oh, the other one's on the bottom. Yeah. That's too bad, I know. I didn't oh, use okay, and it's dissolved. That was quick. Yeah. They dissolved really quickly. I'm gonna transfer it back to the, um, into this. Uh, what's that called? A measuring cup. Measuring cup. <laughs> <laughs> so then you just pour it in. So you wanna make sure to cover the cherries. Oh, we might need to take some out. No, I don't think so. Okay. So the recipe we're following we should probably link it down below. Um, mm. They said that you can enjoy them right away. Oh, I'll let them sit though for a second. However long, but like the um, the idea was you don't have to wait forever. In like, a day to use them. So like you can use them like in an hour. Here they are. And so we'll stick them in the fridge. There's also another comment on the recipe that said you don't need to put them in the fridge because of the alcohol as long as it covers. Oh, oh, shit. You're going to have to drink them. Oops. 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 Tastes like bourbon. It's good though, actually. <laughs> It's actually... Oh, how is it with the sugar? Oh, we have mm -hmm. more to try. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to find another Why don't you overfill yours so you can sip it? Okay, great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. I put too, too much. much. <laughs> now you're just going to have to sip it. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. It's yummy. Yeah. See, that that was me at the restaurant. Cause I'm, like... <laughs> I'm just going to lean back over and eat this cherry over. <laughs> Look, you can't see my little contrast. Look at that. See? My golden one. <laughs> All right. So well, the recipe is wow. three jars. All right. Look at this. Shots. <laughs> Sugary shots. No, thank you for so oh, perfect. Yeah. Until next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wait, I'm Susan. Oh, and I'm Blue Bud. <laughs>